Hey, Mox here. So, Market Monday, the first day of the Mutt year in pre-order. I've been playing for, I don't know, uh, six hours or so, and we've seen some highs, we've seen some lows, with some changes that are frustrating many people. I think right off the top of the bat, I want to talk about um, uh, like a large change, right? Which is, not only, oh, sorry, two large changes. One, not only are filters completely strange and different, and it's going to be hard to snipe, and I'll talk about how to snipe for coins in this video, we're going to talk about how to make coins, okay? We're going to talk about some of the pitfalls and everything that's going on. How, wait, should you sell cards now? Limited, price floor ceilings, um, a whole lot of things coming up with like content on the way. Um, so, right off the bat, they've changed filters and made them much worse for no reason whatsoever other than to screw snipers. And just like the continuing downward fall of the market people, they lost. we lost the trade block, uh, price floors, price ceilings. Uh, now our filters are changed. There's been so many things over the years that they've taken away from us that it's a little frustrating just seeing it continue down the slow down like like it's been, it's just like it's it's what they say about like um the slippery slope argument which a lot of people say oh that's a fallacy but we see the slippery slope in mud. It's just they slowly peck away and take away the good things year after year. But with that said, the biggest change right now that a lot of people are facing and it's something that ea should have removed they they have they've implemented some of this like in previous years to deal with uh bots but people aren't able to sell cards on the market right they're hitting a transaction limit and ea adds that to new accounts because instead of doing like hard things and like um making it like uh, uh, harder for bots to succeed they're like well let's just screw everybody at the same time so people are running an auction limit they can't buy they can't sell so you're kind of stuck with your team you remember when this game was based off a, a trading card game where you could trade back and forth with people now like you know what don't do that too much all right we get you're having a lot of fun but that's cringe bro so we're also at like we literally have peak values i can't go above 21 um the, the i don't know why the price range is so tight uh ea's idiots for this so a lot of change and a lot of frustrating things just overall we've seen at the start of Mutt 25. And like, I don't know. I don't know why they had to do this. It makes no sense. It feels like you're making your product worse just to solve some cases that you can use in, in less intrusive ways. So after that, let's talk about um, some of the things you want to do about making coins right now. There are a lot of very expensive golds on the market. Um, right now so if you pulled packs right your pre-order packs we'll talk about the best pre-order packs to get here um during this video too make sure you look and see if you have something like xavier worthy see if you have something like adonai mitchell marvin harrison jr uh brian thomas to go like these fast like evan ingram I mean, he's in like the 80s though but there is a ton like if you go to mutt.gg mutt.gg's got like uh the all the players if you go mutt.gg right here uh go to the players you can probably sort by this. So, like, if you go, like, max overall 79 and then sort by price descending, you can see some of these, like, Xavier Worthy's, like, maxed out 59K. Like, these things are up for, like, a second and then they get bought. That's how in demand an 86 speed wide receiver is, even though he's 75 budget beast. Jeremy Chin, look at that. So, like, a lot of those budget beasts I identified aren't really budgets, I guess. We'll say Brian Thomas we talked about. So... If you have any of these cards in your binder, I highly suggest you take a look at your 70 overalls and take a look at what they're going for in the market because even these prices, sometimes you can sell them for more prices than their average market price on mutt.gg. So definitely worth taking a look at as you could have uh, hundreds of thousands of coins just sitting in your binder you don't know about if you accidentally pulled one of the good cards. Um, so speed is everything as we know. A lot of people have asked me, should you sell low overall cards? Now by low overall cards, they're talking about guys like 82 and under um and 82 and under they're not really going to be relevant super long they're going to be good like foundational pieces but i you know a lot of these things like like we just saw are kind of capped out so you probably trying to want oh, this one's like minimum 70 maximum 75 i don't know why but we will absolutely sell this for 70k we'll sell it for the minimum price I don't know who took over at EA, but they're screwing up hardcore. Like, I would sell cards if they're low overall and they're not on your team, okay? Then the other people ask, hey, Fox, should we sell our limiteds right now? The limiteds right now, which is a right tackle and a uh, um, Rasul Douglas corner, 
Like, if you have, like, a uh, Eagles theme team, I guess people will want that. And they, So the Limiteds are only here through the 14th, okay? So they are going to leave PAX here in a couple days. I thought they were going to stay in a little bit longer um, into it. And they're not, though. So I don't mind. Like, like as we saw with Cut, if they release zero corners going forward for, like, uh, like non-limited corners for the next few weeks... Maybe Douglas. Oh wait, I can't even filter by his overall. Um, <laughs> this is so dumb. Why did they do this? It's like I feel like the gameplay this year is not bad, but man, Mud is taking a big step backwards. Um, Rasul Douglas. So this eighty six is four twenty. So basically, like these things quick sell for three fifty this year. I do believe. Um, flying out of packs according to Twitch chat above, as you see. But like, I. I don't mind hanging on to him because he's he's so relatively like close to minimum minimum price in these cards is three ninety right because the tax will take you down to three fifty so it's like a seventy k investment to buy Douglas and just have on your squad it's not a bad idea um, to have in a hold if you're gonna invest in him you've got to have a lot of coins already which is um, hard to do we'll take a look at Lane Johnson's card and his overall. There's a 30% chance at him out of the... Yeah, there is a bundle that basically guarantees a, a high-end card, doesn't it? Lane Johnson is 373. Uh, this is below uh, uh, minimum price. So you can essentially buy this Lane Johnson and then anytime ever, quick sell for 350. So this is actually a pretty good investment if you want a top and right tackle you won't have to replace for the next, I don't know, three months. And then you can just quick sell them when you do and then get your uh, 350K back. So Lane Johnson, I don't know. I if you if you need the coins desperately, go ahead and quick sell them right now. Don't sell them for three seventy three, because you're gonna lose overall. So you can quick sell them if you need the coins to invest in other cards. Uh, let's talk about how to make coins. So the best way generally early on in game is to snipe cards, whether those 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 expensive golds we talked about, where you can snipe them cheap because people don't know the value, and then resell them. That's a very contested market though. I think the best way generally of sniping and relisting is going through at like different overalls. Um, and filtering down. So the the problem is this year you kind of have to filter by team. You're, they're basically forcing you into a certain filter. Maybe not. Maybe by division is a good filter. So 82, 83. We see these cards. For oh man, this is so crazy. All 82s are 70k. Absolutely ridiculous market EA has going on right now. I don't know why it's it's locked so tight like it is. Um, but yes, buying buying unfiltered so like 18 80s unfiltered are at wait for it 19k so basically what you're gonna try and do is go through and find 80s like at 15k all right 18k not great um and then basically relist them oh my gosh it ain't great bob we're not having a good time so that's not a good one let's go ahead and filter by falcons all right there we have falcons 25k okay that's a little expensive cardinals so you can basically go ahead and go through this uh, team by team and then find cards. And this is the best way generally early on in the game to make coins. Otherwise, I really don't mind, even though I didn't find any snipes there in the, in the short time we looked, uh, go through and look through different filters and you'll find your own filters that work really well. I actually don't mind right now and for a while um, is going through, taking a look at playbooks. So a lot of like these playbooks and stuff can be had really cheap, but if people look through, I don't know what's the most what's the most demanded. Anybody know the most demanded playbook? Packers is forty seven hundred. So you can make a Packers playbook. Let's take a look at. I guess Cowboys are a pretty big team, forty nine hundred. Um, I, I've heard some people really like the Colts book. Um, Colts thirty five. There's no competition. So basically, what you can do is there's a set for these books. That requires like three seventies. Um, uh, the playbook set, all right, three seventy to seventy. Yeah, so three seventy overall. So any golds, and you go ahead and snipe these golds for under a thousand coins. Quality, all right, type at seventy overall. This is a thousand, so you're gonna have to filter down a little bit more. Even at a thousand, the Packers book was profit. Is ten forty the minimum price? 
I might be I may be wrong here. 1040 is the minimum price for golds? They're price locking them? They price lock gold and someone said they price lock the playbooks too? Really? I I all, all you can really do is is grab these golds at 300 3000 combined and then sell the packers or other price lock books if they're like 4500 and make you could make profit there 1000 for pop but it looks like that's going to be a pretty competitive market with it being price locked wow they price lock this aggressively that's terrible what are they doing to their game? I, uh, okay, market's kind of washed this year, huh? And then, um, I, I guess that's the yeah, a thousand per book if you're selling Green Bay and other ones. It's AI. AI's taking over. This I, 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 this is the worst I've seen the market surge pricing. We got Ubered. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I think I got through most I want to talk about in this market Monday. That is such a downer, dude. I would yell and get angry, but the kid's sleeping. So I'm just going to leave it. I, like, I'm not mad EA. I'm disappointed, but I'm also mad. Bye.